Okay, so my next hack to Sarojini is always get a bite before you come to Sarojini because they're not necessarily really hygienic places inside. So you don't want to take a risk. Uh, one of our favorite places to come to is Sagar Ratna, which we're currently outside. It's at the multi-level car parking. So grab a bite before you go in because you don't want to get hangry later on. Okay, so the next point is transportation. Getting around Sarojini is super easy if you want to take the metro. The closest one I think is INA, but apparently they've also started Sarojini, Naga Market, uh, Metro Stop. So you might want to check uh, with the person at the ticketing counter before you get your ticket. Metro is the super easiest way to get to Sarojini, but if you want to take the bougier route and get your car to Sarojini, use the multi-level car parking. You can find it on the Google map. So all you have to do is type in Sarojini Nagar multi-level car park on the Google map. I'll also leave a link to the map in the description. So use the multi-level car park. The way to enter Sarojini is through the back gate. So the gate right opposite Haldirams is where you want to enter from. That's where all the good stuff is at. The hack to Sarojini is always bring your own tote bag. Um, it's a lot easier plus you end up saving a lot of plastic because all the vendors here use plastic bags to give you your clothes and you don't necessarily want to contribute to any more global warming. Save the turtles, bring your own tote bag. Okay, so if you want really cool Indian earrings like these, come to S22. How can I get it? Ask for Shaquille Bayan, he's gonna give you a good discount. Just come in here. Okay, come to S22 if you wanna get some really cool earrings. Shop number 137 is one of my favorite places to shop at for anything denim. So come check it out. got done at Sarojini, you can see the aftermath of it, both of us are sweating and I've never uh, missed AC so much in my life but I quickly wanted to hop on in and uh, mention a few more things that I couldn't film necessarily and I wanted to talk about because I thought they were just important um, one thing that I forgot to mention was um, bring a water bottle, a hydro flask or whatever like is your choice but just bring a bottle because you don't want to buy a like a plastic water bottle in there and also it's kind of difficult to find in there so just make sure you get your water bottle stay hydrated because you get very dehydrated easily another thing that not a lot of people talk about but i wanted to especially mention was come on a weekday my favorite days personally to come to Sarojini is a Monday and a Wednesday. The reason being Mondays are the days they get their new stock so all the new stock um, comes in on Mondays and Wednesdays I really like because Wednesdays are the days um, all the shopkeepers need to basically get rid of their old stock so Wednesdays are the days you want to come if you're looking to buy those 50 rupees and 20 rupees and 100 rupees deals you will get those on wednesdays probably not on any other days so mondays and wednesdays are my favorite days come in the morning because apparently um the good stuff gets sold out by the evening so you want to come in the mornings the next thing is please bring change go to the atm before you come to sarojini there are a bunch of them at the entrance of sarojini um Go get your cash because they're obviously not going to take a card machine so it's really handy to keep some change in your hand. The next thing that I cannot emphasize enough is bargain, bargain, bargain. I think that's the super important thing about Sarojini is you have to bargain and you have to know how to bargain because if you don't you're just going to end up buying something for 400 bucks that you could have essentially got for 100 bucks also. Today, I think we saw something for like 700 but then I ended up getting it for like 300 or 250 so just just please bargain. Do not ever buy anything for the price the shopkeeper tells you because 
their margin is insane and you don't realize how much of a margin they keep so please bargain with bargain realistically because if you're going to like say something for 50 rupees he's just going to ask you to walk away and you're going to lose out on something you would really like so yeah also when you're bargaining please keep in mind how much you want this item another thing um that i think is super important at sarojini uh, that we have learned through personal experience is that when you pick up more than one item um they will reduce the price more so you end up saving money when you buy more pieces so keep that in mind sarojini can get really really hectic um it's a lot of crowd it's a lot of like pushing pulling scratching um plus delhi heat is not a joke so please pick a a good climate like check your climate your weather update before you head out to sarojini you want to pick a day that's comparatively cooler um don't come during the sunny hours it's just your worst nightmare also if you're not like a summer person and you don't like do well with the heat come shopping in the winters don't come to sarojini in the summers because it's insane but again when you're doing that you got to keep in mind that uh, if you come during winters you're essentially going to get like a lot of denims and denim jackets and winter wear basically but if you come in summers you'll get more shorts and crop tops and frocks and stuff like that so it's a sacrifice you got to make if you don't want to come during the summers you're essentially stuck by this winter outfit so keep that in mind there's another place in sarojini that i particularly think um is super overrated don't you agree it's not the tunnel road mm. i don't know i personally i will insert a clip of the uh, street right here i personally think this place is incredibly overrated every insider guide that i have watched to sarojini every blogger every youtuber that's made a sarojini video talks about this particular road it's lane. like a tunnel yeah it's like a lane um but i have never in one year of shopping to sarojini i have never picked up a single piece from this road like i don't think there's anything great there the gems of sarojini i feel is lane 198 i'm going to again put the lane numbers on like a few videos that i've taken so you can use it as a reference uh but there are two lanes that i'm going to show you in this video that are the absolute gems of sarojini that um, me and my mom always go to and we always shop at um in fact i had a like a friend stash colleague from bangalore come in and i had like 30 minutes to take her shopping in sarojini and um i basically only took her to these two lanes i want to do like a really quick sarojini shopping session these two roads are just the places you need to go to everything else is a complete waste of time so want to talk about is um in my hauls i usually only um buy clothes and accessories sometimes but you also do get lots of bags and shoes and even some home decor things at sarojini that's just not my cup of tea but i just wanted to put it out there that you also get like cutlery and home decor stuff so another thing is if you forget um to get your own tote bag there are tons of people selling tote bags along the road like on the roads of sarojini i'm going to insert some clips of stores that i could find that i've taken videos of please say no for plastic yeah please say no for plastic cuz uh, a lot of the vendors are going to give you your things in plastic covers so please say no to that get your own tote bags the next thing that i wanted to talk about is the uh, the clothes that you wear to sarojini please wear loose comfortable cotton clothes preferably because it gets really hot i wear like shorts in a tank top because it's easy for me to try on clothes on top of this um cuz it works as a good base but um, just just wear whatever works for you i always personally wear my converse shoes because they're really comfortable but yeah essentially what i wanted to say is dress comfortably so that was it you guys for this video this was my insider guide to sarojini 
slash everything you need to know about shopping in Sarojini and where to shop at. Um, I really hope you like this video. I will be doing a, a haul of everything that I have bought today. So stay tuned for my Sarojini haul video. Please share it um, with a friend that's coming to Delhi, a friend that is in Delhi, anybody that's going to Sarojini, share it with them. It will be really helpful for me and for them. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, press the bell icon so you will be notified every time I post a new video. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you in my next video.